la jalo yeso jalo yeso bolo na nyimbundalo na nyimbundalo kasangele so ila jalo yeso golo na nyimbundalo na nyimbundalo no the boys mad massive performance by the gambian young scorpions these youths have sense Amazing match, amazing performance, amazing goal by Adama Bojang. Hakilo, ngalela celebration ojele. Dunia kuo be kata hakilo la. Alenga la goal ojibe, ngalela celebration ojibe. Gambia under 20. Hakilo. Nigeria just calmly playing their way out of the back. I say that commentator's curse and and the opener. A mistake by Nigeria and pounced upon by Gambia. And it is, of course, Bojang, Adama Bojang again, a hat trick in the quarterfinals. Hakilo. Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. Very, very nice goal. The A very, very small country. To even find it in the map, you have to use your lens you have to use your your this lens you know to find the gambia on the map a very small country but we are scorpion we are very very dangerous we are scorpions we sting and we sting very very hard the gambia is now playing is now going to play the final against senegal neighboring senegal as you all know, the Gambia have a very good relationship with Senegal. Back in the faculty, I've been in Senegal, but football, oh, amazing game to be honest, you know. Hakilo, Hakilo, I don't know what you know. Golol Dunda, very, very nice. But my you can enjoy what the extra time. You can minute to move along with Kala, you need 90 minutes of Banda. Katoka Boro Wato, Kendaka, 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 and the go for what you can enjoy football or fun. But you will have an infernal referee, a final whistle in for them blow damning. You see the reaction, you know. It's very nice, amazing to see your country in the final. It's a great feeling. So I'm going to do it, but Adam Alagolo, Hakilo. Inside two defenders, you have the goalkeeper waiting for you. Now you have to use your sense, your co five common sense, to direct this ball to hit the net. Down to the back, I say that commentator's curse. And, and the opener, a mistake by Nigeria, and pounced upon by Gambia. A la celebration on Galeadja. Akin. Stay connected, stay blessed, and subscribe to the channel. This is Akilo TV. The second yellow there for the high boot and two yellow cards in the space of five minutes means that Njai will miss the, fin the final should his team make it there. They're very close now. Marong just killing time, heading for the corner, but there will be five minutes of additional time to survive. Trying to produce an attacking pass there. It's given away. And now Abdullahi back on the attack. Great strength. Winning a free kick for his side. Surrounded by red shirts. Good work from Abdullahi. Determined. Throwing everything into making amends for that penalty miss. And it was Sanyang. The man who tackled him during the offence. Didn't give away the penalty, of course, but successfully tackled him during that attack. Gives away that free kick. Now can Nigeria lift it forwards towards Abdullahi? That one's blocked off, but it's back again and headed in towards Abdullahi, just behind him. Attempting sat up on the edge. Gambia can't get it totally away. And another effort from range, and not too far away that time from Ogbielu. Not his first attempt from distance, but that one I think had Damper more worried than the previous. He had two that skimmed across the surface and ran wide. That one very nicely struck, not dipping quite enough over the bar.
So two minutes at a five now elapsed. You can see in the XG expected goals the difference 2.2 for Nigeria compared to 0.19 for Gambia but it is Gambia are the only ones to have successfully found the net Morong the substitute sacrificed for a change of shape there after the red card for Njai having to sub the sub never a nice feeling but understandable certainly under the circumstances he won't take that one personally there is Tembo Saidi Khan on in his place now will Nigeria conjure up one final big chance they've got players in the box waiting it's passed around on the edge for now Lifted in towards Sunday, but he slipped. Or oh, towards the right wing. It's now Mbai fulfilling that lone striker role. And here come Nigeria. That one's going to flow through easily to Danfa. Dives gratefully on the ball. He looks like he never wants to let go. And he will. Only allowed a certain number of seconds before he'll pick up a yellow for time wasting. That just about within the limit. And only 80 seconds remaining now. Gambia with one foot in the final. They briefly looked like they'd taken that foot out of the final when they gave away the penalty. The VAR review. But missed by Abdullahi. And now Resolute defending. They've had the lead for almost 90 minutes of play. Seven minutes in to the first half when Adama Bojang found the net. And now 30 seconds remain for Nigeria to find the equaliser. Lowell jinking this way and that. Running way forwards. A red wall in front of them. Aminu having to settle for a sideways pass as well. Someone's going to have to lift it forwards. There's only 15 seconds left. They do, but it's claimed well by Dunfer, and that could be enough. This time, he might not have to let go of the ball at all. Well held by the keeper, having to stretch under the pressure of Adams. The 95 minutes are up. They think they're already, they're bouncing already on the sidelines, the Gambians. Are they going to make or get their revenge for that semi-final exit at the hands of Nigeria 16 years ago? Surely this will be the final kick of the game from Dampfer. And it is! Gambia are in the final for the first time in the AFCON under-20s. Twice the bronze medalists. Head in hand for Ahmed Abdullahi. He missed the penalty with five minutes remaining. He won it. It took VAR for it to be awarded. But when it came, he struck the post. That man, Dampfer, died the right way. Didn't need to make the save in the end. And he does keep his fifth clean sheet of the tournament. Heartbreaking for the Nigerians. Particularly so for Abdullahi. The seven-time champions are out. And just look how much it means to the young Scorpions. They make it to the final for the very first time at the last edition in 2021. They crashed out at the semi-final stage 
to the eventual winners, Ghana. They took the bronze medal, beating Tunisia. Abdullahi being commiserated by his teammates. That will take a while to get over. But the contrasting emotions. The Gambian players go to the sidelines to celebrate with their fans. Gambian flag flown in their direction. And it will be flown by the number five. What a moment for Gambian football. They only had 38% of the possession. 21 attempts by Nigeria. Only four on target compared to the three attempts, two of which were on target for the Gambia. Only one of those hit the net, though, and it was for the latter. Adama Bojang got his hat-trick in the quarter-final and now with the crucial goal to take his side to the final where they'll contest the gold medal for the first time. Twice bronze medalists. Now they can go for the big one. It will be Senegal. They meet in this very stadium on the 11th of March. Five days' time. Senegal with a 3-0 win over Tunisia. Emphatic. But it is the Gambia who knock out the record seven-time champions.